ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the one and only soldier, the one you're always looking for when you want to build a team, the one you can actually build a team around, the striker. This guy is, he's a powerhouse. He can single-handedly win the game for you. Now, let's go over exactly what makes him so strong. First of all, he is a mix of the Berserker and the Assault. This is not enough. It's not enough to pick a Berserker and choose Assault. You must have this talent. Or, or there's one other talent you can have. The extra shotgun damage, the shotgun specialist. If you have the shotgun specialist on either a berserker or an assault, or if you have the strongman on either a berserker or an assault, you can make a striker. This guy is a powerhouse. First of all, he's got 25 mobility. He's got 18 willpower. This particular berserker, I have not put any points into strength. Instead, I took Resourceful. Maybe not a good idea. Maybe Strength would have been better. Probably it would have. But, as it stands, he has the ability to remove all armor on his enemies. He has the ability to dash so he can get to any point in the game. When he takes damage, he up to doubles his speed and damage. He doesn't pay any action cost for reloading. He can activate rapid clearance and adrenaline rush. And he can kill as many enemies as he has ammo in a single round. I have equipped him currently with speed armor. Total of plus 5 speed. You can get this armor from aligning with the Anu. I have also given him the Perceptor Head. The Perceptor Head gives 20 accuracy and 14 perception. Perception is important on one of these soldiers. You are going to need it so you can actually see your enemies. You are going to need a Deceptor. If you don't have the Heavy Weapon uh, talent, you can also take the Iconoclast. The Iconoclast is almost as good, but has much worse accuracy. The accuracy is half as good as the Deceptor, and it has a two round less burst damage. So, this does 120% of this gun's damage, is what I'm trying to say. However, the Deceptor is quite heavy. So, I can currently carry 20 out of 20. That basically means I only pick more ammo for the Deceptor. This is the soldier you're going to spend your Phoenix SP on. He's going to need a lot. First of all, best case scenario, you find this trait on a Berserker. So you can basically, at level 4, pick up Assault and you basically have both dash and armor break. And at that point in the campaign, you are still in the early game. The, the enemies are just about to get some armor. The effectiveness of your shotguns, of your assault rifles, are rapidly falling off at this point. That's when you bring in this person. The Berserker Assault. You do armor breaks. You dash up onto the face. You empty your clip from a shotgun. And you instantly kill basically everything at that point. However, you cannot move after that. Well, you can probably move, but you can't keep going forever. It's not until you hit level 7 that you can keep going forever. You can do rapid clearance, you can do adrenaline rush. It costs at that point, no matter what weapon you use, you can use a sniper rifle. You, I, I don't recommend that, by the way. You could use this Deceptor, which costs 3 action points to fire. Or you could just use a normal shotgun, which takes 2 action points to fire. Any gun in the game will cost a single action point to fire at that point. And every time you kill an enemy, you get two action points back. Let's see how this works in practice. Let's take a look at his stats currently in the game. 32 movement. Let's see how far that is. This is one action point of mobility, or should I perhaps say movement? Next. Let's increase that, but before we do that, let's see how far he can dash. He can currently dash over here. 
roughly a quarter of the map from the center. Next, let's take our priest and let's instill Frenzy. Now he's got 50% increased mobility. He's up to 48. He can move this far in a single action. At this point, he can reach half of the map. That's not enough. Let's up that a little more. After all, this guy is our main soldier. I hope that didn't hurt, sir. Now, let's take a look at his stats. He currently has a mobility of 85. Yeah. 85. 85 movement. Yeah, that's that's correct. Let's see how far he can move on a single action. On a single action, he can reach half the map. Let's see how far he can dash. For all practical purposes, he can now reach every single spot on this map except for the corners, the very, very corners. I suspect if he had started exactly in the middle of the map, he would be able to reach every single spot on the map. He can reach every single rooftop except for this one which has no access. Every spot is available to him. Good. Well, let's see what more he can do. Now, you would probably think to yourself, well, why would I ever do that to my soldier after all? We have these guys. Ooh, you probably remember these. These have return fire. Hmm, let's see how he deals with the return fire. Let's go back to our technician slash priest. Let's give him some electric reinforcement. Let's do one more for good measure. After all, this support character currently has 22 willpower. Now, poor little Rollo here only has 11 will. That's because I destroyed his head. No matter. That means I can only do rapid clearance and adrenaline rush. Normally I would dash up. I can't do that. Not a big deal. This takes a single movement point. I don't need to dash. There's no point to have dash. Not at this stage. Let's activate rapid clearance. Let's activate Adrenaline Rush. And let's see how he deals with Return Fire. He died in half a round. Or should I say half um, a burst. So, we're backed up, up to four action points. We haven't taken a single point of damage from the Return Fire. We have currently roughly 60 armor. If you feel 60 is well enough. Well. Just take this character. Press that button again. Before we can do that. Maybe I should pick up some will. So I can actually do it. Are you going to tell me. That a character with. 78, 7, 75, 80, 78, look at these armor values. Do you think this character is afraid of anything in the game? Outside the New Jericho snipers, nothing can really hurt this character. Let's keep on killing. Why not, right?
As you can see, this character can basically go on forever. This character is still at 4 action points. And full magazine. Let's eat another return fire perhaps. Why not? That was all the enemies on the map. Let's make sure he doesn't spend too much time in the med medical bay. That would be troublesome. Field medic. And would you look at that. I could have done that before I headed out. I would have gotten my five will points, but I didn't need them. 86 movement, 16 will points. This was just a small demonstration of what he is capable of. He is capable of much, much more than this. The more enemies on the map, the stronger he gets. I have had him take out 18 enemies in the first round. Yeah, I finished that mission in one round. So I hope you liked this short demonstration of um, this striker. I have four more classes that I want to show you that I think is that I think makes up what I would call the strongest team. So this this was a striker, like I said. The next one will be the boss killer. After that, I will show you the priest support. After that, I will show you the technician support. And lastly, and this is a sort of a bonus character. I have him right here. That's a sneak peek. This is the stealth artillery. Until next time, I'm Mithros, and take care. Bye bye.